Hi there. Today we are going to study sedimentary texture and grain size analysis. First of all, what is texture? Well, texture is a fundamental attribute of sedimentary rocks that includes grain size, grain morphology, shape and round with sorting, grain fabric and textural maturity. Grain size and grain morphology are properties of individual grains. Fabric, sorting, textural maturity are a property of grain aggregates. Grain size is an important descriptive properties of sedimentary rocks. Particles in sediments and sedimentary rocks range in size from a few microns to a few meters. Because of this wide range of particle sizes, logarithmic or geometric scales are more useful for expressing size than are linear scales. However, the Uden Wentworth scale used almost universally by sedimentologists. A useful modification of the Uden Wentworth scale is the logarithmic phi scale which allows grain size data to be expressed in units of equal value for the purpose of graphical plotting and statistical calculations. There are several techniques for grain size analysis. For example, sieve analysis used to determine the grain size distribution. This method is used to measure unconsolidated sediments by sieving them through a set of nested wire mesh screens. Particles having size smaller than the mesh pass through while the smaller ones remain. Size of mesh is standardized and is identified using mesh number. The mesh number denotes the number of squares present in one square inch of area. Next technique is called laser diffractometer. A laser diffractometer size analyzer operates on the principle that particles of a given size diffract light through a given angle, which increases with decreasing particle size. Then, settling tube analysis. The settling velocity of particles falling through a fluid medium depends on the size shape and density of the particle, and the density and viscosity of the fluid. In this technique, grains are allowed to settle through a column of water at a specified temperature in a settling tube. It is based on Stokes' law. V equal to Cd square. Where, V is settling velocity, C is constant, D is diameter of the particle. Electro-resistance size analyzers such as the Coulter counter or Electrozone particle counter, Measure grain size on the basis of the principle that a particle passing through an electrical field, maintained in an electrolyte will displace its own volume of the electrolyte, and thus cause a change in the field. Particles are dispersed in a suitable electrolyte and forced to flow through an aperture one at a time. As each particle passes through the aperture, the properties of the field change. These changes are scaled and counted as voltage pulses. The magnitude of each pulse is proportional to particle volume and the number of pulses is a function of particle concentration. By counting the number of pulses of various magnitudes, the volume percentages of particles of different sizes can be determined. Next technique is image analysis which use TV cameras to capture and digitize grain images from which, with the aid of appropriate computer software, grain size diameter can be calculated. Photohydrometer is a settling tube that relates the changes in the intensity of the beam of light passed through a column of suspended sediment to particle settling velocities and thus to particle size. Sedigraph is an automated particle size analyzer that determines the size of particles dispersed in a liquid by measuring the attenuation of a finely collimated X-ray beam as a function of time and height in a settling suspension. The transmitted X-ray intensity increases with time as particles settle out of suspension and thereby decrease X-ray absorption. X-ray intensity is electronically transferred into concentration values and indicated linearly on the Y-axis of an XY chart recorder. The data output can be either a printout of size statistics or be in a graphical form specified by the analyst. Next technique is puppet analysis. The standard, conventional way of measuring particle size on the basis of Stokes' law is by puppet analysis. Fine, unconsolidated sediment is stirred into a suspension in a measured volume of distilled water in a settling tube. This suspension are withdrawn with a puppet at specified times, evaporated to dryness in an oven, and weighed. These weight data can then be used in a modified version of Stokes' law to calculate particle diameter. Now let's know about graphical presentation of grain size data. Histograms is a bar graph readily shows the relative amount of sediment in each size class. Bars extend from the maximum size to the minimum size for each size class. Frequency curves is a smooth curve that joins the midpoints of each bar on the histogram. It shows the variation of weight percentage as a continuous function of grain. 
The red color curved line in picture is frequency curve. Cumulative frequency curves is a smooth curve that represents the size distribution of the sample. It is generated by plotting grain size against cumulative weight percent frequency. It shows percentage frequency of grains coarser than a particle value. This is an S-shaped curve on the arithmetic or the net scale. Sedimentologists commonly plot cumulative frequency curves on a probability scale for the cumulative frequency. On such plots normal, bell-shaped distributions plot as a straight line. Next, let's discuss statistical parameters of grain size. Mode is the most frequently occurring particle size in a population of grains. Highest point of a frequency curve or histogram, the steepest segment of a cumulative curve. Median is the midpoint of grain size distribution. Mean is the arithmetic average grain size of the distribution. Practically impossible to determine. Can be approximated graphically. If the distribution is purely symmetrical then mean is equal to median. Standard deviation referred to as the sorting coefficient of a sediment. The units of sorting are phi units. A measure of how much variation in grain size is present within a sample. Skewness is a measure of the amount of departure from a normal distribution. It is a measure of the asymmetry of the distribution. Values range from minus 1 to plus 1. If skewness is equal to 0, then it is perfectly symmetrical. If skewness is more than 0, then it is positively skewed n. If skewness is less than 0, then it is negatively skewed. Kurtosis, k, is the degree of the peakedness which is related to sorting. If kurtosis is more than 0, then it is sharp peaked called, leptic ortic. If kurtosis is equal to 0, then it is normal called, mesocortic. If kurtosis is less than 0, then it is flat peaked called, platycortic. If this video seems helpful to you please like and subscribe Earth Detective and also visit our YouTube channel where we uploaded lot of videos based on Earth Science. We also organized the videos in playlists based on topics. Feel free to explore and suggest us what you want to learn from us. You can also check description for links of our social media, website for resources, PowerPoint file and further discussion. Thanks for watching.